everyone, welcome back to Reviews for People with No Time, and we gotta get right into this. We need to talk about something very important about these new packages, and that is the lack of a window. When you're buying your Transformers, I've not seen it yet, except maybe online, make sure the Transformer you want is the one that's in the box, because people are swapping stuff out. So that's my PCA for the day. But anyway, there's the box, there's the bot, now let's get them out of the package. And here we have another package in paperweight mode or his spaceship mode. This is going to be where people are torn because of the proportions of this being so high. I'm sure people are not going to like it. But what do we expect a UFO to look like? Do we expect proportions or do we expect it to be something that's alien and weird? Either way, I'm fine. It works. It goes, it goes doo -doo -doo -doo, which is sufficient. Now it's got a few ports on the side and the back. They allow you for adding weapons and other things. And it has a little port here, so you can put it on a stand. However, I would rather that port been somewhere down here, so that you can put the stand underneath it. It put a little bit more weight on it that way, which might make it harder to hold up. Anyway, that's really all there is to that. So let's move on to the other modes. Accessories! Now, I actually thought I would not care for this, but it's actually better than I expected. He has a little gun, as you can see here. Has a port on the side with this flag piece that comes off. While I thought, oh, why do we need a flag? I don't mind them doing themes where they just give us some sort of weird accessory that we might be able to apply to other things. But yeah, the, the idea of that he is something for a race, being that, you know, he's even kind of a drone, could be taking video and waving the flag and all that, that's not bad. It gives us something different. It doesn't always have to be pure G1. We can have some variety in our lives. Variety is the spice of life. And fully transformed. Oh my God, he's actually pretty awesome i mean i thought he looked kind of cool in the pictures but this is my favorite transformation i have done this year i expected him to be very simple we've been getting they've been getting a little bit weak in some of the transformations and some of the later figures but i think this is great it's actually much more complicated than i expected it's not like super complicated you can figure it out without instructions but there is some nice thought going on in here that said aesthetically I think it looks pretty good. He, he's a little stumpy. He's very cartoony. I like him. There's one glaring issue. If you look at his feet, and that's the box. They did not put the decal on there. I'm sure someone will come along and make some decals. If it bothers you, I actually think it's fine. I don't think it's a big deal. We flip him around the back. The back design actually hides pretty well. He's got great shape. I mean, he's he's got a lot of character to this design. I think they did a great job here. There is some hollowness. We got some in the back legs. I'm sure someone will make feelers for that. And we've got some in the arms. This is probably the worst one. I really would have preferred a flap and rotating wrist, but we do not get that. And here's some comparisons. Here he is with the new Scourge and another mini bot, Bumblebee, and the previous iteration of his design. And now it's time for articulation. Neck, shoulder, elbow, no wrist, waist, yep, knee, outward, swivel. Go tilt. Passes the high kick test. Is it worthy? So after long deliberation, I really do like this figure. I, I think he's better than I expected. I sort of liked it from the pictures. I've always wanted a new version of this character. I like the new scale. I like the design. I like the articulation. And I love the transformation. The vehicle bump might split the fan base, but I think overall, this is a solid figure. Here's what was more on the shelves because when I tried pre-order him, he actually sold out before I was actually able to check out with Scourge. So I had to go find him at a physical store. But there's a rumor that there's going to be full cases of him coming to stores because there's such a demand. But like always, let us know in the comments below if this is worthy of your collection. Like and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time.